The Zero Auto Ranging Digital Sights were designed to solve the problem of getting the correct range at full draw on an animal that could be potentially moving and then providing the exact pin per that range to take the shot. So traditional range finder, you know, you hold it up to your eye, you get the range, the number says 37. If you've got a, a fixed pin sight and maybe you've got you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 set up, you still have to do a little bit of gapping to shoot something that's 37 yards. With the Garmin, you're gonna get a pin that's gonna hit 37 yards exactly. So when you squeeze that range finding trigger, as soon as the reticle and the pin pop up and they're aligned together, that sight is ranging. And as soon as you let go, that will go away and that, that exact pin for that yardage will pop into the sight window. You have to have this rangefinder aligned to your eye so that you're looking at what the rangefinder is pointing at when you take the range. A huge benefit of that is it ensures that your form and your grip pressure and your face pressure is exactly the same each time you draw back to take a shot. I've had a lot of people tell me early on, they would say, well, I don't know what it is, but I just seem to shoot better with the Garmin. And we, we came to find out it's that getting into the habit of ranging you get that circle and that dot lined up and you know everything about your form is exactly the same as it was when you set the bow up. And that's what makes somebody a really good archer is the consistency of their form when they take the shot. The evolution of the Garmin Zero sights has been amazing. What they've done with the A1i Pro allows you to do so many more things than our, than our initial model that we had. It allows you to do fine tuning that we could never do before. It allows you to get so much data out of it that it's given you the ability to become a better shot simply because it's gonna help you correct a lot of your flaws. With A1i Pro, we wanted to focus on more graphical uh, instructions on the screen, and we walk you step by step through the process. So essentially what you'll do is you'll mount the, the sight to your bow, and you will set a primary pin, which we typically suggest that'll be your 20 yard pin. So you'll set that up uh, using elevation and windage knobs on the site, just like you would any other site. And then you will adjust the rangefinder reticle to your eye. And then from there, you enter in your bow speed, you can enter in your sight length and your sight height if you so choose, and take a few shots and we auto calibrate the rest of the pin stack and you're ready to go hunting. So the micro adjustability on the A1i Pro is the ability to loosen a small Allen key and turn a dial to make adjustments. You can easily count clicks just like dialing in a rifle scope. Just being able to turn those back and forth, make your adjustments as needed, uh, and you're really good to go. One of the things I think is awesome about the A1i Pro is the quick detach feature. Being able to throw your bow in a case, take the sight off, travel and pop that sight right back on and get to shooting. There's no setup or no adjustments needed after removing and reattaching the sight. One of my favorite things about the Garmin Zero A1i Pro, for instance, is the ability to set up multiple arrow configurations. By doing that, I've got at my fingertips, I can change what I'm using. So I like to hunt with micro diameter arrows. I've got them cut to a certain length. I know the weight of basically all of my arrows. And so I've got a pin stack built just for that. But for whatever reason, I want a heavier, different arrow. It's so easy to go in and build another profile. And it's just saved as that, whatever you want to name it. And then you've got the ability to just push a button and pick which arrow you're wanting. And you can build a lot of different arrow stacks in there for all kinds of different scenarios for, I mean, really, in my opinion, anything you're ever going to encounter or want to shoot. The durability of these sites is something that I have proven time and time again because I'm pretty hard on my equipment. That's the, to me proven that how durable it is. You know, I banged them in the stands, I bounced them around, we you know set them outside in the mud and the rain and the cold, and they've just performed flawlessly when it comes to the mechanical features of the unit. I mean, they are incredibly durable. I'm often asked, and I see a lot of comments about the battery power, what's gonna happen when the battery dies? Well, I haven't changed the batteries in my A1i Pro in I don't know when. And I've hunted with that thing from cold to hot. I've hunted with it across the nation. I've taken it to Africa. I have done so many things under so many extreme conditions, shooting all the time in my backyard. I haven't had a battery issue. What I really like about the A1i Pro is all of the features on board that really help you be a better shooter. It's kind of an onboard coach, if you will. 
um, your reticle alignment, making sure that that's aligned every single time. You really know as soon as you draw back. If you draw back and something is wrong with your form, you will know shooting this boat sight. It's just one of the most remarkable, accurate aiming solutions on the market. We can help you become a better shot, give you that confidence, but we don't take the shot for you. There's still all the nerves you have to control, knowing when to shoot, knowing where to put the arrow, and sometimes you get it, and sometimes you don't, and, and that's with anything in life, and you know, you just gotta learn from it, and stay positive, and, and move forward.